The latest rumors of exchanges of labor tours by the player DJ Lumayu are becoming more than a necessity, see below. But first I ask that you kindly subscribe to my channel and like, comment and share my video because doing so helps me a lot. The Yankees have a plethora of different lineups they can build on the infield this upcoming season, but one way or another, someone needs to be traded given the money allocated for big contracts. The Yankees are starting a battle at shortstop. The Yankees are expected to set up a position battle at shortstop, in which Peraza, Volpe, and IKF will be competing. Peraza is expected to win the spring training battle, given his MLB experience last year and the team's youth strategy going forward. IKF has struggled to put up routine ground balls and had minimal impact offensively in 2022, so giving Oswald the opportunity seems like the best course of action. Second base is an entirely different conversation, which is currently led by Glaber Torres. Torres was involved in strong trade rumors before the start of the offseason, especially after being included in negotiations at the trade deadline last summer. However, Torres seems to have his position cemented with the injury to DJ Lumayu causing a bit of concern. There have been positive developments regarding Lumayu's toe problem, which ended his 2022 season prematurely, most notably the fact that he will not need surgery and has been participating in baseball activities in Tampa. Having Torres around as a supplemental option or security blanket for DJ makes more sense, which means general manager Brian Cashman may end up trading Torres next summer during the 2023 trade deadline, but his services are needed during the first half of the season. Well, there is no need to trade Torres in my opinion, especially since he is only 26 years old and coming off a decent season. He was a 2.7 war player in 2022 and projects to be a 3.4 war player in 2023, according to their steamer projections. They also hit them .262 with an OBP of .327, 23 homers, and 73 RBIs. That would put him in the upper echelon of second base, and coming off a great defensive season, the Yankees shouldn't want to trade him. Over 1,082.2 innings at second base, Torres recorded a .985 fielding percentage, accumulating 7 errors and recording 9 above-average defensive runs saved. Unless the Yankees want to put Volpe at second base or Peraza, depending on who wins the battle for the shortstop position, there is no reason to include Torres in trade scenarios now actively. In fact, Lumayu playing third base to open the year would be a perfect scenario, as Volpe would probably need a few weeks, if not months, at the AAA level before making the jump. 